Hello everyone, I am Dr. Neeraj and today I will discuss about dot blot and slot blot hybridization. So without any delay, let's move to the video. What is dot blot and slot blot? So uh, these are the techniques which are used to identify a particular DNA, RNA or protein from the sample. We can also quantify or we can also determine the concentration of these molecules by using these techniques. And these techniques they do not require any kind of restriction digestion and electrophoresis. Means there is no need to perform electrophoresis and the digestion. We can directly apply the sample and detect a particular DNA, RNA or protein from that sample. What we actually did in these techniques, we just apply or you can say we just bloat our sample to the membrane and ultimately detect a particular molecule from these samples and the name given to these technique on the basis of the shape of the you can say the sample the shape in which we load or we blot the sample on the membrane like in case of dot blot so the sample is applied or sample is blotted on the membrane in the form of circular dots while in case of slot blot the sample is loaded or blotted on the membrane in the form of these rectangular slots. So on the basis of the application or you can say the basis of the shape of the sample blotted on the membrane, we categorize these two techniques as dot blot and slot blot hybridization. Now first let's discuss the procedure of dot blot hybridization. So in this suppose we want to uh, you can say specifically identify a protein from the protein sample. So in this the first step is the extraction. So pro extracted protein has been taken and now the first step is just to transfer this protein sample to the membranes and here as the technique is dot blot so the sample is transferred in the form of or in the shape of circular dots. So here these red color circular dot they represent the proteins. Now in the next step as we want to specifically detect a specific target protein so we use a primary antibody these primary antibodies these are specific to the target protein they will only bind if they will find their target protein so we add the primary antibody and after that as the primary antibody it bound to the target protein we perform the washing to wash out the any unbound primary antibodies now in the next step we use secondary antibodies which are ultimately conjugated with enzyme molecules. These secondary antibodies, these are specific to the primary antibodies. So they will bind only when they find the primary antibody in the sample. If there is no primary antibody, so there will be no binding of secondary antibody. So as if there is a target protein, so the secondary antibodies are there. Now, as we know, these secondary antibodies, they contain enzyme or they have covalently linked enzyme with themselves so now we use a specific substrate the substrate which is specific for this enzyme so as the substrate is added so this enzyme now convert this substrate into the colored product so by the identification of color we can ultimately identify or detect a specific protein and we can also quantify the specific protein by measuring the amount of the co this color formed. So this is the dot blot hybridization because the sample is, you can say it is loaded in the form of dots and hybridization is there because we are using these antibodies to hybridize with target protein. So that's why known as dot blot hybridization. Now the slot blot hybridization. So again, this technique is very much similar to the dot blot hybridization. So here again, we take the extracted protein sample and in the first step, this protein sample, these are now transferred to the membrane. But the difference is that here now the sample is loaded in the form of slot, not in the form of dots, but in the form of rectangular slot. So that's known as slot blot hybridization. Now the rest of the uh, procedure is same like first we add the primary antibody which are specific to the target protein so they will bind if they find the target protein in the sample now we add the secondary antibody which are linked or conjugated to the 
enzyme so the secondary antibody will bind only if the primary antibody is there because the secondary antibody these are specific to the primary antibodies now the position of this secondary antibody can be detected by adding the substrate so now this substrate will ultimately converted into colored product so by measuring the intensity or amount of colored product we can also quantify the amount of target protein present in the sample so this is the slot blot hybridization because the sample is loaded in the form of rectangular slot and hybridization is there because we are using antibodies to hybridize with target protein so these are the two technique that is dot blot and slot blot hybridization so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much